Colin Turkington joins us from the pit lane. And Colin, I know that these first two race meetings are all about for you and Dan Kamish moving on from the great events of Brands Hatch last uh, October. But did you take a moment and just stand out there uh, today and just reflect on how different the whole environment is compared to the, the tumult of the climax of last year's championship? Yeah, I did actually, Steve. Uh, we did a track walk on, on Friday night and straight away all the uh, memories and flashbacks and moments from uh, the, the 2019 final all the good and the bad moments come 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 back, but thankfully when I'm out there with the helmet on this year, I I, I don't think about it. But yeah, Brands Hatch has held uh, many good memories for me, and uh, for sure that last year was uh, was definitely the highlight. But once the racing starts, uh, it's business as usual, and there you are on uh, row three, maximum ballast. Uh, that must be quite satisfying. Yes, uh, really happy with with the result today. It's. Uh, it's been a challenge, you know, with a heavy car, with, with 60 kilos in the car. And Brown Touch Grand Prix is almost like two different tracks. You know, the indie, indie layout is predominantly slow speed, and then you got the quick corners of the Grand Prix track. So it's, uh, it's trying to find the balance with car setup. It's not easy at the best of times, but then when, when you make the car heavy, that, that just makes it all the more difficult to team. But that said, we got there for qualifying. Uh, I did have to hang on to it a fair bit out the back, but uh, you know I was able to to pull the lap time out of it. And uh, you know once again the three series is is really strong at at Brands. And of course, uh, Tom Oliphant, my teammate, is is right beside me. You know we we posted exactly the same time to to the thousands. So uh, maybe uh, hopefully we can we can hunt in, in a pack tomorrow. The other new challenge for you and everyone else on the grid, back-to-back uh, -back race weekends. Uh, does this pose a problem for you personally or any of the other drivers who might have a, a, a set way of winding down after a race uh, meeting? Well, Steve, I, I thought I was quite fit until the Monday morning after Brown's Hatch. <laughs> uh, yeah, when I, uh, when I stepped out of bed, uh, every part of me ached. You know, we're just not used to doing three re long race runs in the heat in, in, in one day. So. Uh, it, uh, it did take the rest of the week to uh, to recover, but I'm feeling fresh now, ready to go again, and excited to be back racing again with, with within one week. So it's it, it, it's no problem. If you get the rest in between, it's uh, it, it's fine. And uh, I think just we're all excited to be here again. And the warm conditions, what sort of uh, part will they play over the course of the weekend? Well, I've got the paddling pool already set up, Steve. <laughs> I've been in it twice today already, so uh, it's just trying to bring your core temperature down in between races is, is the trick. It's, it's hot when you're out there, but the worst bits are when you're sitting on the grid pre-race and then once the flag drops, that's when the adrenaline drops away and then that's when you, uh, you remember about the heat. But when you're in race mode, it's not so bad. You, you put the heat to, to the back of your head. So. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not, not too much of a problem. Well, as ever, you and the team have got everything sorted. And there you are, out front of the championship after uh, the first three races. The one thing, though, that you do need to work on is your uh, reverse grid draw technique. <laughs> you did yourself some damage last weekend. I, I did. I did not make the job easy for myself, <laughs> uh, Steve. So, yeah, if I'm in that position again, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll rotate the balls a bit harder. and. Uh, Try and pick out a single digit at least would be a good start. I would love to help, but it's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> All Thank the best you, Colin. Okay, thanks, Steve. Cheers. Cheers.